Hello everybody. Today we're going to install the EcoFlow alternator charger on a truck or SUV or similar vehicle. We're here with uh, some of the tools that we may need for the installation. I've got uh, two sets of wrenches, one standard, one metric, depending on the vehicle. You may need uh, one or both of those. Also, uh, some pry tools, some plastic pry tools to remove some plastic pieces, some zip ties, zip tie cutters, a fish tape to run the wires, and of course, a flashlight. That's uh, our tool list. So now let's get into the install. So before you mount anything, you want to find the best place to run the wire to the battery. On this specific vehicle, we found the best place to get to the battery is through the firewall on the driver's side, right up under here. And then uh, we have a channel on the threshold of both doors that we can run the wires back to where we decide to mount the alternator charger. We're at the point where we want to figure out where the best place is to run the cables and the best place to mount the EcoFlow alternator charger. In this case, on the Ford F-150, we chose a location directly behind the rear seat and we're going to mount it right in this location here. We're going to continue to uh, run the wires through the channel into the engine compartment through the firewall. We'll remove this trim piece and we've got the wire running all already here and we'll continue running all the way through. So the access point in the firewall comes out right down in this area. There is a grommet there. I'm going to take a knife and make a little bit of a slit in that uh, grommet in order to bring my wires through and then we'll reset that grommet back into place. We've run our cable through the firewall into the engine compartment. It's now time to hook up uh, the two leads to the battery. The red one goes on the positive, the black one goes on the negative. So we'll start with the positive first. Okay, make sure this connection is tight. Now we'll do the negative connection. Okay, now that we've connected up to the battery, the only thing we need to do is uh, dress this cable and out of the way so it doesn't uh, interfere with any of the engine. The only thing left is to test it. Okay, thanks for watching guys. As you can see, it was pulling 800 watts. Our installation's complete. Be sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day, guys.